Yo, hello everyone, I'm Jack the Jack of Knaves, and welcome back to Minecraft Crash Landing. So, in the previous episode, we did some work around here. Um, you might notice things are slightly different. There's a reason for that. Uh, after the episode ended, I died of thirst. So, it turns out that... So, you might remember... I'm going to very carefully... Play the ground in front of here. So you might remember, so there's this water right here in Um, I thought it was just water. I could fill it up with, uh, water bottles with it. And for a while, I did. It was like, great! It turns out it's salty water. And salty water has a special property in which if you drink it, you get dehydrated. Or, yeah, you get dehydrated, which makes your thirst bar go down super fast. And then I died of thirst. So we're not doing that anymore. So now I've been using my fluid transposer. If we need to put some more power into it, regrettably. So right now we're in currently kind of an energy crisis, um, and I put that term lightly. Uh, we are in like the most crisis of energy crisis. Like I used up both of these and. This is slowly draining. I have my clone, thankfully, so I've got an extra life, but this is quickly running on power, and we don't have another way to generate power, so I'm hoping that we can do some quests here. Um, and don't mind the mobs, they're fine. Uh, I'm hoping that we can do some quests and in the process of doing so, figure out a way to start generating power. So, as you remember from last time, gotta click on stuff. Uh, we had a couple of quests open to us. We had this, which is to get water. Oops. Um, this to drink muddy water, to make a muddy water bottle. We can do that. And this wants us to make a stone hammer and a bone crook. So that can be done. Um, this, they want us... Oh, uh, they want us to get cooked silkworms. We can do that. And this, they want us to get cooking utensils. Which we can do some of. It must be there. We can find fire. Um, so let's bust through these real quickly. Uh, the first one here is it wants us to get a bucket of water. And so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna use the uh, QDS here. We're gonna say select task and we're gonna hit it. Whoops. Okay. So now this recognizes that sapping the saplings is the quest we want to do. Now we just need to make this the output and it should drain into there and perfect yep it accepted the one bucket we can claim our reward of two water bottles perfect did that open up anything new no okay oh, that's fine um that's good because i'm thirsty ah uh, much better all right what's next let's make a muddy water bottle and a muddy water bottle we can make here we need our dirt very careful. This is mostly spider proof, but spiders have still been known to just kind of do whatever the heck they want. So I'm scared. Um, so we've got this water bottle and this dirt, and it seems to imply that if I do that, no. That, no. That, no. That, Let's read the quest again. Uh, one bottle and one dirt. Oh, wait. Idea. Can I do... Oh, there we go. Is it empty bottle and dirt? <gasps> That's so much better than I thought. I was, at first I was just like, why the heck would I use clean water and make dirty water? That doesn't make sense. No, this is good. So we get our dirt back, and we get a clean water bottle. Ooh, what's this? Dirty water is useful in a pinch, but for long-term survival... Oh, whoops. Dirty water is useful in a pinch, but for long-term survival, you need a way to purify it. Water works nicely. Drop a dirty water bottle in a furnace, apply heat, get clean water. Science! So they just want a water bottle. Okay. Um, here, yeah, have a water bottle. Yay! Sweet. All right, let's get ourselves some more water. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. 
just so constantly thirsty. There's a cold water bottle. We're gonna save it. Okay. So now, well, unfortunately, we don't have a reliable way to get... What am I saying? Whoops. Of course we have a reliable way of getting dirt. Okay. So, it's weird that the quest book is not alluding to this fact, but let's set something up quickly. This, ouch, is actually pretty good. Um, so, and I hope this is still in the game. As part of Ex Nihilo, yes. You can get these things called barrels. And barrels are cool because you can place a barrel down, and it does a whole bunch of things, but the thing that I find the most important here is we can take all these leaves that I sheared off of trees for water, and we can stuff them in here, and we'll compost. And what composting does is gives us dirt. So we, ho 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 ho, we now have a renewable water resource. This is actually exciting. This is actually really, really exciting. Ah uh, ha Okay. Perfect. So we got our water resources now. Let's do this. Tools of the trade. We need a stone hammer and a bone crook. I laid out some stuff here so we can make those pretty quickly. A stone hammer, we just do that, that, the stone hammer. And a bone crook, we just do that, and we get a crook. Perfect. All right. Oh, and now it wants us to make weapons. Um, knives can be thrown as necessary. You might want to make multiples, just in case. They're fairly cheap. Um, so they want us to make a bone knife blade and a bone crossbar. All right, to do that, we're actually going to need a bunch of other supplies. So we'll work on that in just a second. Um, since we do have the crook, let's actually work instead on... Not that one. Um, getting this, the cooked silkworm. Um, so to get... So basically what a crook does... Um, I should probably explain. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Um, a crook, what it does is you can hit trees, and it does a couple things. One, it makes it break faster, which is nice. Um, two, it produces more saplings, which is cool. Um, and three, when you hit it, you have a chance of getting a silkworm. And a silkworm, what you do is you basically stuff it in a tree. And when you do that, um, it turns into... it. The silkworms like eat all the leaves, and then it produces silk, which in this game is just string. So you, it, it's basically a way that you can get string. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, looks like we didn't get anything from this one. We might have to break another tree. Um, and then the silkworms, you can use it for string, but I mean, we've got so many mobs around us that we don't have to care that much. Let's see if we got one anyway. Um, no. Um, but we can also eat them. Which is, hmm, it's a thing. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we get one here. If not, I, I do have to do a little bit of more off-camera stuff. I wanted to, at the very least, try and get some of these quests knocked out first. Uh, simply so we can start doing some things. Um, and that way I don't die a thirsty death. Because uh, I, I thought we were thought we were in a crisis zone there for a moment. It was looking pretty bad for us. Um, okay, perfect. Silkworm. And I'm not going to care about fuel efficiency. Oh, I made a slab furnace. The way you do that is you just take cobblestone half slabs and you th put them in a furnace configuration. Um, it's basically just a way that... Uh, what is it? It's just a way that you can uh, make a furnace and it's cheaper. Um, mmm. Doesn't recover much, but whatever. Um, yeah, it's more efficient because right now stone is limited because we have to farm for it in the sieve. That's weird that I didn't. Oh, cool. So it is quartz. Um, you gotta farm for it. And it's just a pain in the butt. And I'm gonna have to get more anyway, but for right now I don't care that much. Okay, clear reward. We get a rice seed. We can make rice seeds. Mmm. Alright, does that give us anything new? No. Okay. So now what we have to do is we have to do tools of the trade and we have to get cooking utensils. Oh, right. 
cooking utensils. I did, so I have some of them laid out here, um, but we're not going to get all of them. So let's do the first one. This is a cutting board. We do a configuration with iron, a stick, and an oak wood plank. We get a cutting board. And then this is a mixing bowl, and we just do like a bowl and we put a stick in it, and it allows us to mix stuff. Okay, so we got two of them. A mortar and a pestle is made the same way as a mixing bowl, but you have to use stone, which we are severely limited in. In a juicer, you need a stone, like one stone and one stone pressure plate. So, um, that's why we don't have that. Okay. Um, next, let's start working on, well, first things first. Our water is okay. Ah, yes, we have a dirt now. And that is because of reasons. Um, that is because of this barrel. So you, basically, you can throw in compostable items. Um, zombie flesh, saplings, those sort of things will do it. Um, and then out over time, it will make um, stuff for you. Unfortunately, we didn't get all the items. The The only problem, so I made... Boop. So I made this wall, and I made a trench at the bottom of it in the hopes that it would make the area safer. And it does, but it doesn't. It, it does because now things don't kill me as much, <laughs> or as easily, so that's good. What's that over there? I think that might be an error. Um, but the only problem is it still leaves spiders and creepers behind. And there is a lot of spiders and creepers. So, the way I could be able to fix it would be just digging that trench large enough. Um, the only problem is at this point... Um, well, unfortunately, I'm working with dust, so the only way to do that is I'd have to go outside to do it. And right now, it's kind of scary. I kind of don't want to. So, uh, I'll work on it. It'll be fine. Um, but, yeah, that's not what I'm doing. Right now. Okay. So, let's work on... So, the last quest we have to do here... I'll, I'll form up some more stone, and that'll be fine. Um, what we'll do now is let's work on the weapons. So the weapons, we need a bone knife blade and a bone crossbar. And you might be wondering, well, how do you get a bone knife blade? You type it in, you have a bone knife blade. Aha! Well, how you get that is you need to use what's called a pattern. And there are many different kinds of patterns here. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of patterns, and what we need is we need a knife blade pattern. Um, right here. And you're wondering, how do I make a knife blade pattern? Well, what we need is we need a pattern... Not a pattern table. We need a... We need a lot of stuff. Let's just do Tinker's Construct. Tinker's... So we're going to need these. We need a tool station, a part builder, a, and a stencil table. And having a pattern chest helps. So let's get a stencil table. So that's, yeah, 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 that's what we need first. Okay, so we need a stencil. And stencils are actually pretty easy to make. You just do sticks like that and you get a blank pattern. If I do a pattern over that, I get a stencil table. And we get a book. Nice. Let's plot that down there. Okay. Now you open this up, and basically what it is is that I can put in a blank stencil. And let's do that now. I put the blank stencil in here, and I can make new tools. Let's find our knife blade. That's a sword blade. Let's find our knife. There we go. So we get that. And we need one more. We need a... Uh, whoops. Uh, what is it? We need a crossbar? Yeah, we need a bone crossbar. So we'll put this in here, cycle through the patterns. Um, we're just taking a look. Oh, there it is. Crossbar pattern. All right, so we've got the knife blade pattern and the crossbar pattern. So that's good. Now we need a part builder. Let's 
a pattern over a log. So that should be pretty easy to get. Let's do that and that. We get a part builder. Throw that in there. So what a part builder does is you can put a pattern here and you can put a block. Um, what is it? We can put a material in there, and when we do that, we get the thing out. So I put in here my food platter and a bone. We get the bone knife blade. Ouch. And bone meal. Cool. And we can do the same thing for the crossbar pattern. And we get the bone supply. Perfect. Alright. And that's what we need for the quest, right? And we'll detect. Perfect. And then we need armor. Um. To survive out there, you will need some basic tools. Oh. Careful! Armor can affect your temperature. Metal armor tends to be hot during the day and cold at night. Leather and wood armor just add a little heat no matter the time. The best armors can help you stay cool in the heat and warm in the cold. Experiment cautiously. So you need wooden stuff. And let's check that out. Whoops. Wooden... Wooden helmet, we need. Oh, we need lots of logs. Ooh, a whole lot of logs. Alright. So, how about this? Um, things are exploding horribly. I will take a quick break, um, farm up the stuff, and we will complete this quest. So, I will see you in a second. Alright, we are back. Things remain to be exploding, uh, but we have enough now to make some armor. So, let's make that quickly. Pants, chest, feet, and hat. There we go. And if we do that, that gives us everything. Perfect. So that means that we get. Oh, we have to. Oh, we have to pick one. Do we want a bronze axe head, an obsidian arrowhead, or red heart canister? We want the red heart canister. Um, that we could make over time. Arrowheads, I don't care that much. Um, but the red heart canister, that's going to be kind of hard to get, so let's get that. Perfect. Oh, wow. Oh, we just unlocked a whole lot of stuff. What's this? Firing it up. Oh! Hey, we did that already. As hot as it is in here, it isn't nearly hot enough to cook food. For that, you need to get a furnace. Sieve dirt for stones. Use stones to make cobblestone, and from that comes a slab furnace. Uh, we get <gasps> an autonomous activator. Oh my god. That's going to be so good for us. I'll show you why in a second. Um, servo. Cold water. Awesome. Cantaloupe. Great. Iron ore. Um, mm, hmm. This is actually a tricky one. Do we want... Right now... Food... But water, food. We need we need diversity in food because we have the diminishing effects of stuff. So let's get that. Cantaloupe. Autonomous activator is fantastic. What's this? Um, let's see. Well, things are looking a little. Well, things are looking a little less desperate. Maybe. Still, without a stable food supply, you won't last long. You could use a watering can to help grow crops. So, I actually have rice. We need more rice seeds. Though. Eh, this is easy. I'll, I'll knock that out and then we'll turn it in. We get toast and oranges. Um, and we can get one of those. Cool. Um, what else is open to us? They want us... Oh, they want us to kill things. Ugh. Okay, there is something seriously wrong with this planet. Are those really skeletons and zombies? And what is up with the exploding green things? Did that tall black monstrosity teleport? This is bad. Really, really bad. Still, perhaps we can make use of what they leave behind when killed. So we need to kill five zombies, five skeletons, five spiders, and two creepers. And if we do that, we get needle gun ammo, zombie jerky, ender pearls. Great. And um, we can pick some of those. Okay. Um, even hotter. With your furnace up, you can now take it. You can now take your next step. Look by the port engine, and not the one currently on fire. Apparently, the water reclamation leaked a little and has turned some of the dust into clay. Dig it up and make a crucible. Stick a torch under it 
under that and not only can you melt cobble and lava but you can smelt or dust to ingots but you provide it if you provide it with a faucet and a blah 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 stick a torch under that and not only can you melt cobble to lava but you can smelt or dust to ingots if you provide it with a faucet and a casting table or basin okay so they want us to set up a crucible and I'll read that off. Okay. Um, great. And then, Ormald. You are going to need lots of iron. To make the most efficient use of the ore you have gathered, it's time to make build a better way to turn ore dusts into ingots. Alright, so now they want us to make a Tinker's Contrast. Tinker's Construct Smeltery. Um, and that should be too bad. That should not be too bad. Let's put this armor on. I know it will toast us up a little bit, but it's not actually horrible. And it makes us look silly. And it gives us armor. Armor is good right now. Okay. So. We've actually accomplished quite a lot. We've, we've opened up. Let's stand inside. <laughs> so we've actually accomplished quite a lot. We busted out a whole bunch of quests here. We have a whole bunch of new open to us. Um... We can't look at any of those just yet, but that's not too bad. Um, so off camera, I will use, I will get some more dust. Um, or I will smack some more dust. We can get some stones. Um, we can get the mortar and pestle. We can figure out the whatever that is. Um, I can get this rice and rice seeds, no problem. That's not an issue. Um, we can start setting those up. Um, and I will, I will on my own kill these, I won't turn it in, um, but you don't have to watch me kill things. Um, plus it saves me the embarrassment of trying to do stuff. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did enjoy this episode, I would really appreciate it if you left me a like. And, as always, stay tuned for more.